Hello everyone, today I would like to present you uh, one of my short-term day trading plans. Uh, what you see on the screens is the Great British Pound Japanese Yen currency pair and this is the H4 time frame. Now I'm gonna start from the H4 time frame, go down to the H1 uh, where our main plan will be and I'll just check the M30 as well for uh, possibilities. So first of all uh, on the H4, we notice that the pair is currently below this uh, level at around 147.98. So we can just say it's around 148.00. Usually those round numbers uh, <clears throat> tend to be strong support or resistance areas and traders look at them very closely. As you can see, uh, already the pair reacted from this area here after this uptrend and um, it also reacted here it kind of reacted here from this area and also here here it stopped the downtrend for a while you can see although it went a little bit more down let me turn off the Ichimoku so you can see better then it exploded up here it stopped the downtrend again so at this point uh, you can see how it stopped this here at this point uh, we can see that the pair is right below this area so I expect a drop down from here let's check the H1 if we turn on the Bollinger Bands here, we can see that the pair is in this range, uh, the square I already drew. Uh, and my expectations are for, uh, currently the pair is on the top of the range, and my expectations are for the pair to drop from here down to the bottom of the range, probably have a reaction from there somewhere to the middle of the range, which is formed by this as well as this so if we put a line it's somewhere like around here and to uh, start a new wave down breaking out of this range and reaching to our target area down here where was the previous bottom so around 146.30 uh, second possible scenario is a buy scenario if the pair breaks the range uh, the range is stop and it also breaks this um, level at 148 on the H4. You can safely look for buy positions. Uh, just keep in mind that usually after a break, <coughs> we might see a correction, uh, reaching back to that area and then a new wave up. So on the M30, uh, basically we have the same situation as H1. Uh, maybe you can start looking for sell opportunities after the break of the this line here which is the middle of the range and if uh, just in case so uh, if this correction doesn't occur uh, you are entering early into this downtrend again same here you can look for the m30 for a break here uh, it would be perfect if the break of the top of the range and this uh, level happens with one candle uh, if you enter somewhere here, put your stop loss in, back inside of the uh, square or the range. It would be best to put it even below the middle of the range. So that's all. I believe that this plan will uh, unfold by the end of the day or uh, tomorrow. We'll see. Uh, I wish you good luck and have a pleasant day. The World Cup is starting.